This playthrough is rated E for everyone. Are you ready to fight for your independence? Greetings and salutations, viewers of all of right here with a, well, a holiday of my country where we celebrate the birth of it by blowing a piece of it up. And today I thought I'd play the game based off a popular, well, I guess it was a semi-popular movie, at least it was a, a popular popcorn flick at the time it came out way back in Lawn Day. And no one talks about the sequel. Nope. <laughs> Uh, well, at least no one said it's as good as the original one anyway. I'm of a middling when it comes to this movie. I think it's an okay platform flick, but overall, um, it has some good parts to it, but overall, it's not my cup of tea. But before we start playing, we can go over the options really quick. So you can either choose easy, normal, and hard. Uh, I'm just going to choose normal mode for this. Uh, we can also change the, uh, the uh, volume of the music and sound effects. I think they're good where they are. Let's take a look at the controls. All right, arcade mode. Let's see, shoulder buttons for arcade or throttle down. Uh, can air brake with the shoulder buttons. Uh, at least it looks like the L2 and R2. And then we've got roll enabled, depending on what we're doing on with the R1 button. Uh, pitch down, that's just, uh, basically this game has flight controls. So down is up, up is down, that type of thing. Uh, bonus fire, bullets, missiles, and map. So pretty straightforward. And we can change our player name. I'm just going to leave it player name or whatever it is. So, all right. So basically what we do is we just play. So the movie, you know, basically aliens take over earth and then, uh, alien puts forth the resistance to finally beat the aliens spoilers by putting a computer virus into the computer, which is impossible because they're not the same operating system. So you can't make a virus based off of Windows or Apple property or whatever they use in the movie and put it in an alien machine. That's not how that works, but whatever. <laughs> uh, so, uh, and then you have like a few major scenes in the movie, but like the main course of it is based off the president and his group fighting for it. And then they tell everyone else how to beat the aliens. However, this game to obviously to extend it out more than the movie did, we basically have to fight multiple alien spaceships in multiple different locations over and over and over again. What fun, huh? But anyway, there's like a little mini movie that plays here. So I have to, I kind of have to be careful actually, because I might get, I might not let it play for very long. Um, I also might during this scene might, uh, by the way, we're starting the game. I might try to discombobulate the video or something like that. Cause this is taken from the movie. And unfortunately I don't want to get struck down, but I might be able to manipulate it enough where I get, where I get a claim instead. Cause I prefer that over a strike. Cause a strike means, you know, bad news bears. But it's been, uh, luckily it's not, all it is is just scenes of them attacking stuff in the movie. And this is why I'm talking through it, by the way. Uh, but I might like flip the image or, or put like a filter over it to see if that'll work. Because you don't hear the actors talking, so you might be able to get away with this maybe. Uh, but I'll still manipulate it anyway. And yeah, it doesn't show any of the actors or anything like that. It just shows uh, scenes of them shooting up aliens in the movie. Uh, at least most of this stuff was, well, for the most part practical except for all the obvious stuff so um like i said it's not a terrible movie it's just it's not one i'd go back to on a regular basis i wonder if people still watch this movie to this day on independence day they yeah, probably do most people don't even remember the second one the resurgence or revengeance or whatever it was uh it came out didn't do very well and then kind of disappeared from the mind's eye you know Although there's a lot of reasons why it didn't really work for what one is they brought back a character that died in the first one. He somehow came back in the sequel. Like what? what? 
it's because probably he's probably one of the only main actors to come back and he needed a paycheck so he's like eh. they didn't even get a will smith to come back i i guess they didn't slap enough sense into him to get him to come back huh but uh i think this scene is where will smith is going through the uh uh, canyon with his buddy trying to knock out the alien and the alien shoots down one of his friends and he's able to uh, knock it out at some point and he punches it in the face welcome to earth <laughs> uh, I said there were still some good action scenes in it uh, this is probably the best part of the game to tell you the truth because uh, well when we get to it you'll understand why uh, so yeah this uh I guess, well, let's let the game speak for itself and then I'll talk about that. But anyway, yeah, the reason I'm playing this is 4th of July in America. Uh, 4th of July is a, ce a celebration of our declaring our independence from the British government and telling us to leave us alone and not tax our tea. And yet we almost do the modern day, we almost do the same thing to our own citizens, yet no one's raising a fuss about it. When you look at history wise, you almost think like we may have got a little bit over, over the cuff. When we did, the, I mean, I'm still glad we did it because otherwise I wouldn't be here. What I am and doing what we're doing. But when you look at history, you're almost like, man, we might, we must have flown over, uh, like, blown our lid. But then again, some innocent people got killed in, in a couple of uh, situations with the British soldiers. So you know, tensions were boiling, all this other stuff. Obviously, I didn't live there. All you can read is from a history perspective. But uh, anyway, let's go over the objectives for this one. So we're in the Grand Canyon. Destroy the field generators on the sea destroyer. Then take out the primary weapon. All right, we got a weak man. Captain Steve Hiller will give you close air cover and stay in radio contact during battle, so he'll tell you what you need to do. And then we got a recon plane that'll follow us around, give us, uh, well, reconnaissance and giving us the map information and stuff like that. So, yeah, he's got high durability, so it can take quite a few hits, even though the aliens usually one-shot everyone in the movie, but whatever. Uh, stealth. Yeah, that thing's not very stealthy. Anyway, these are the things we're going to be fighting. <clears throat> the Agile Fighters, the BACBs, they got a lot of speed, a lot of agility, a uh, decent amount of durability, and decent amount of stealth. Hmm. And uh, this is our main target, target right here, the field generators. Uh, you have to hit those two things on the side of it and then destroy it itself. Um, I think you have to do quite a few of them if I remember correctly. These provide a defensive shield around the alien perimeter destroyer and the city perimeter. Cool, let's start the game. I am so excited. I don't know why I'm playing this, to tell you the truth. I really don't like this game. <clears throat> it's just it's part of this ps1 ugliness you know and it's almost like impossible to hit stuff yeah i'm trying to uh oh sorry healer was trying to talk to us yeah it's like actually i don't even know why i'm fighting these guys uh the enemy units aren't as aren't as big of a deal i really uh, uh, and as you can see there we get like about eight minutes to uh do our objective Let's go ahead and get some missiles. How many missiles can I carry? 20? Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, this game also, it's flight controls, so you have to up is down, down is up. Yeah, it can really throw you off if you're not used to it. Um, you cannot leave the area. As you can see, this like this little blue line is like the, I guess, shielding from the ship, or the game says we're being cowards. I don't know. Luckily, the game points us in the direction of our objective with that white line up in the upper left corner. So, yeah, I see right there. So, I need to destroy those, so I have to turn around. So, I mean, turn on my. Yes, thank you. By the way, this game's going to tell you that a lot of times. It's like, hey, you should do the objective. You should do the objective. See, so I think it's usually a two missiles per per objective. Oops. That yeah, wasn't. I got to speed up and turn back around. Okay, slow down. Where'd you. There he is. And that's destroyed. Uh, you're gonna hear that a lot in the game. Yeah, that, uh, a, a lot of famous personalities have already sh told us like about how bad this game is, but you know, it's one of those things you forget until you actually start playing. I was actually pre-playing this before. I was like, all right, maybe I'll play this for a lark. I mean, I knew it wasn't gonna be good, but then I played it for a bit. I was like, oh no, I don't like this at all. <laughs> and uh, I think you all will uh, realize how much I don't like this either. Yeah, I destroy that. I think the generators take at least like six missiles, maybe more, maybe eight. I'm trying to remember. Woo! I'm trying to do a. I was trying to do a, uh, a turnaround or whatever, but. Uh, there we go. Okay, it was six. 
And they get, lay off us for like a few minutes. Or, I mean, minutes, a few seconds. Alright, where's the. Oh. No, I'm almost out of missiles. Hurry! I've got five minutes! Anyway, let's find more missiles. Might as well heal. I've taken some damage. Our, our damage is that lower left corner. You can see that red line and with the like the orange and green and all that. That's a uh, um, our life bar. Right above that, the little mini skull. That's a uh, uh, kills we've got. Uh, that affects our score. Woo. Luckily in this game, you don't insta die when you hit a wall. Even though it probably should. All right, invincibility. Uh, yeah, I've got. I need missiles, dude. I'm trying to find missiles. Where are they? They're like all over the place, but I'm missing all of them. Okay, there's some right there. Five missiles per pack. And by the way, the basically the premise of the game is basically we're doing the same thing over and over and over again. It's just the area changes like. Uh, oh, there he is. Yes, ga yes, Captain Hillard, I hear you. I heard you speaking to me through the voice of, of the Almighty himself. Please, please leave me alone. I'm begging you. Yeah, I need a few more missiles. Alright, there's a... Uh, need more missiles. I mean, look at the draw distance in this game. It's it's terrible, man. Like, I, I don't want this whole episode to be me about me complaining about the game, but it is not a well done game. This is like one of those franchised or games that they did they did not try on at all. Well, okay, they tried, but they didn't try their best, and their best just wasn't good enough. There's some more missiles. I need more missiles. I know sometimes killing uh, aliens can drop them, but it's really hard to hit them with just the bullets. You know what I mean? Like, those those don't lock on target, unlike the missiles. You know, you know. At least the... There we go. Alright. I think there's one more, if I remember correctly. Oh, there's another missile. Might as well grab it. Okay, where are you? There's the other one. Yeah. Uh, why do you tell me to hurry, man? I've got so much time. Uh, okay, I guess I technically got three minutes. That's not a lot of time, I guess. Alright, where's the oh, there Yeah, I think I'm. Alright, speed up so we can turn around and slow down. We can't slow down. We have to. Or, we can't stop. We have to slow down first. There we go. Alright. Might not even be able to... Okay, where's the big old laser beam? No, we still haven't destroyed them. Great. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Not sure was, uh, if I was able to be able to hit him. I might actually might need to get some more missiles for this for the primary weapon, because in the movie, you have to, you know... Oh, nope, never, never mind, I just rammed into it. Right on time with the 4th of July. Yay, I'm so excited I beat that thing. I wonder how to do this all over again. Actually, the best scene, the best game that uses this premise probably is uh, Star Fox. Uh, when you have to fight, spoilers, you have to fight Star Wolf. I forgot what planet it was. It basically recreates the Independence Day movie, but that's a lot more fun. Because you have to defeat Fox of Wolf, Star Wolf, before uh, before the thing blows up the the city or whatever. Here it's just, I don't know, man. It's just. Uh, anyway, so this one is Washington, and we get to choose our plane by not being able to. Okay, I I'll, I guess all I can choose is the Hornet. Yeah, it didn't let me choose any other weapon unless there's another button I can choose. I to I'll admit, folks, I didn't really. I didn't really do a 100% play run test on this and just to see how well it runs and everything. I just kind of popped in and goes, ah, oh, here we go. This makes me feel like it's like the not the, the best 4th of July ever, you know. 
And unfortunately, I'm not probably not going to be even shooting fireworks this year. In my country, I don't know how it is everywhere else, but in my country, it is expensive to buy fireworks right now. Basically, if you buy fireworks, you better enjoy fireworks or you're basically throwing away your money. I guess where to get like a small pack of a handful of, of uh, uh, good fireworks, you spend it like over $100. And that's just for a small pack. That's not for like a whole bunch of stuff. You know what I mean? It's fun to do. It was fun. When I was a kid, it was it was expensive, but it, at, at the time, it didn't seem like inflation was so high. So we seemed like we were able to get quite a few nice little extra fireworks to play off. But uh, And luckily, I live in a place where it's out of the bounds of the city limits, so I can actually blow, use fireworks. Usually, most cities in America don't allow you to shoot fireworks because of the noise complaints and stuff like that. But where I live, it's not that big of a deal. At least not yet, anyway. Although people are starting to slowly start li coming out to where I live. So... You know, soon it'll become a regular city, but uh, until that day, I can shoot off fireworks when I want to. Anyway, we're in Washington. Washington State Mission Objectives. Defend the A3 WACs until the recon of the Alien City Destroyer and defenses is complete. Yay. Uh, let's see. No, I don't know why. It, that was weird. Uh, anyway, Captain Steve Hiller will give us close uh, air cover and, and radio contact again. There's the recon blade. Agile fighter, same stealth as actually, it looks like it's got higher stealth and durability than the oh, yeah, because it's the BACA. But now we got there's the BACB. All right, let's do it. Uh, but anyway, what was I gonna say? <laughs> I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm just kind of using this as an excuse. I guess I could have taken a, 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 a either not done a, 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 a Fourth of July episode, but you know it's a it's a it's a important holiday for my country, so why not? Yeah, kill all those aliens. Get out of here. Get out of Earth. Oh, better go faster. Okay, where's this where's this thing again? Okay. Yeah, I have to defend the. Evil. Where is the E3 or E5, whatever? Actually, I don't, I don't need that. I need more missiles. You can only hold, uh, you can only, okay, what was the E3? Uh, you can only hold so many missiles, so. Uh-oh. Get off me. Actually, you're not really doing that much damage. Then again, I am playing normal mode. I'm not playing uh, hard or more uh, difficult or whatever. So, um, yeah, I'm trying to remember the last time I actually did fireworks and uh, really celebrated. Like, I used to go back in the day. I used to go to like the uh, in the city I live in. I used to go to the uh, um, just the riverside and uh, you know watch the fireworks go off every year. But the reason I did that is because uh, my father was like uh, would meet up with his old buddies and go you know play at a certain house. I think the reason why we don't do that now is because I don't think the I think the people sold the house or whatever, and they don't want people hanging out there anymore, so they don't do the uh, they don't do the, the thing, they don't do the, the grouping or whatever. So which is kind of sad. And I think I think most of his friends have like moved, uh, like live in different cities now, so it's not convenient to do it. So I think they're all still alive, if I recall. But I need more missiles. Whoa. God, I just it's just the pixelated graphics, the draw distance is just like like and there's a, quite a few PS1 games that are not bad looking, but man, this is just one of those that just really got hit with the ugly bat. You know what I mean? Okay, I need to slow down and find a way to destroy these uh, fighters. All right. Oh, whoops! I thought I saw it. Where is the E3? Like, it keeps disappearing out of my vision. I have yet to run into it. I mean, it's probably... I'm, I'm trying to defend it, but it's like, you know... Okay, let's slow down. Maybe that'll help us. Uh, hit a few more dudes. Now we can actually fight these guys. Because we're going so fast, and unfortunately, you can only lower yourself to 50. You can't, you can't go any slower. Good gravy, it's hard to. Okay, did he avoid the missiles? 
I guess he's just too fast. Yeah, alright, whatever. At least they're not saying the whole generator thing over and over again. I believe in you. All right, looks well, like uh, the lot, some of the uh, some of the upgrades or the healing ones are the yellow uh, symbols. Or at least the healing one is, because yeah, the missiles aren't showing up on here. Oh, there we go. There's the Washington Monument right there, by the way. I wonder if he was compensated for something when they made it. No. Uh, I think it was made, if I remember correctly, the Washington Monument was way, like, made like, way after the fact, so it's like, okay, what were they, and it's so straightforward, there's like nothing much to it. Then again, uh, that's the benefit of certain old architectures, that there's something that's nice about the semblance of normal and straightforward instead of being like some weird, like, um, amalgamation of, uh, or some weird art. Like in my country, we have some. If you go to like some of the eastern, eastern and western coast cities, you get some pretty weird art. And you're like, eh, I don't like that. Then again, I don't like most modern art because well, it's modern art. There we go. Might as well destroy these things since. Well, there's the there's the secure plane at least whoa they've been hitting me quite often yeah is it just me or is this mission just not very interesting <laughs> hell it's hard to hard to like really are they all going after me oh. oh it does Okay, I guess the uh, if you're generally close to it, I guess it does kind of uh, uh, auto aim the machine gun because it didn't seem like it was doing that when I was uh, um, a. You guys are like way too like they're always coming at me from behind, so it's hard to hard to freaking look at that. They're all just turning with me. Yeah, it's almost better just to just to like go as slow as you can and just turn around in a circle. Hopefully you can actually aim at these guys. Oh my goodness. Man, is this making anyone else sick? <laughs> Ooh. I need some missiles anyway. I need more missiles. I need more lithium crystals. I was hoping to at least finish this mission and call it a call it a episode, because I, I I was not gonna about to beat, beat beat this today. No way. I do not like this game enough. Although it's not a very long game, if I remember, it's only got like I think there's only like six missions or something like that. I think it wasn't very many. You think that my the recon would have died by now? Whoa. Whoa, 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 hold on. Well, it's because you're moving all over the place. I can't tell where you where you are. No. Whoops. Oh! I took so much damage, I just died. Huh. Wow, that was fun. Uh, yeah, this, this game is not fun at all, so... Well, that that's for the best, I guess. So, I didn't get the high. You did. I didn't get the high score. I'm sorry. Wait, did it have all the people from the movies too? All right. Well, yeah. Sorry for not having a very action-packed. Uh, or well, I guess it was action-packed for the, but not a very interesting. Uh, uh, Fourth of July video. It's just me talking about the game and stuff like that and uh yeah i don't want to play this anymore this is a <laughs> i just want to show it off and have like a just a holiday themed video of some sort me playing a game now if you want to play this you know uh you know more power to you i don't think you can buy this legit anymore because it's most franchise games like this usually after so much time they drop the uh the license or they don't pay for the uh, the copyright anymore so usually to get a hold of this you have to get this through other means um, i mean maybe if you buy it used somewhere 
as far as I'm aware of, you can't. Well, as far as I'm aware of, not uh, the PlayStation Store. I don't believe sells this. I could be wrong, but I don't think it does anymore. I think you have to legit get this from either like used rental places or something like that to play it. So, but I don't know what you're missing by not playing by playing this. I mean, you're really not missing out. It's just a very mediocre uh, game based off a semi-popular movie at the time. Uh, that like it's just. I mean. I mean, if I actually tried, I probably could have beaten all the levels, like, really fast and really easily. But it's just so bland-looking. It's so boring. It's just... It's not exciting. It doesn't have any interesting music. The, you know, the repeating of the lines to get you to do stuff. And 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 basically, I mean, the d- objective slightly changed, but it's the same thing over it all. So, man, what a way to celebrate my nation. I was hoping to beat some aliens and save the world. But I guess I just... That's why I wasn't in the movie. I, I can't save the world. I'm not I'm not Captain Hiller. I'm not the president. I'm not Will Smith. Although with what's been going on, I I'm glad I'm not. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, so I guess we'll leave it there. So I hope you enjoy enjoy the Fourth of July. If you guys celebrate it, blow up some fireworks for me. If you don't, uh, you might be able to hear the sound of us screaming on the Fourth of July by the time uh, when when this comes up at night for those of the rest of the world. Or you're probably telling us to go to bed, America. You're you're being too loud. Although I think other countries do fireworks around this time anyway even if it's not the fourth of july for other reasons but each country has its own holiday so but this is the one for me so all right well i'll leave it there so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and blow something up not 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 i mean blow like a firework up don't blow actually anything up oh don't sue me